Greetings, putrid inhabitants of the universe. I am the Beard Maggot, and this is the Maggot Has Nothing Better To Do show. Tonight we have another edition of Maggot's Cooking Corner. We're going to teach you how to make muffins. First, you need two cups of goat's blood, a bottle of hand lotion, one copy of Earl Bobbinsmacker's 101 Ways to Pick Up Girls with Low Self-Esteem... Wait a minute, Maggot. I think you're reading from the human sacrifice recipe. Actually, the two have the same ingredients until you get a little further down. You need two bottles of scotch or whiskey, two hand grenades, and some Play-Doh. Now, first you take your... We interrupt this program for this special bulletin. The price of cheese has gone up by eight cents on the interstellar market. Galactic leaders are planning a summit to discuss the ramifications of this catastrophe, and... Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, that's all for the news, and... No! Please don't take me away again! They'll make me take the pills! Oh, God, not the pills! This is the Interstellar Transmission Network. We apologize for the previous unplanned interruption. We now return you to the program in progress. So once you've got it up to 8 million degrees, the bulge should be just big enough. We interrupt this program for another special bulletin! Not the pills! No! Ah! With the whiskey, and so you end up sort of vomiting, but by this time the police should be back, so everything will turn out fine. Now I have to stress, don't panic. Take the hand grenades and... We interrupt! No! I promise I'll be good! I promise I'll be... Fluffy crusts and delicious, so they're a great way to entertain. Anybody have any questions? Can I load my pants? I wasn't asking you. Of course not. You never cared about me. You were just using me for my body. Actually, I use you to gain pity. Oh. Well, I knew I served some sort of purpose. Shut up. We have a movie review in the Clag Brzezinski Press today. It's a critique of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. It says, I want to watch Amidala get it on with the Blair Witch. He needs help. You say that as if it weren't immediately apparent. Sorry, when you're as brilliant as me, sometimes it's hard to tell what's obvious to other people. Or how to operate a door handle. Don't make fun of me! Ah, uh, but isn't that what life's all about? Yes. Yes, I suppose it is. Never mind, then. I'm always right. And on that note, I notice it's time for another episode of Uncle Evil's Corruption Corner. Hey, kids. It's story time here on Uncle Evil's Corruption Corner. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a cute little antelope. Once upon a time, there was a small and furry baby antelope with big brown eyes named Painbringer. Painbringer was unusual among his antelope brethren in that he possessed shimmering black fur and that his horns were crooked and thick like a ram's. He was always the smallest of his brothers and sisters, and he was always being picked on. One day, his sister Brainrender was playing next to the river rapids. Painbringer knew that many little animals had met grisly deaths from falling into the water, so he warned her, Brainrender, dear, don't wander too near. Brainrender looked back at him and batted her blue eyes. Shut up! She then bent a little nearer the water. She could see her reflection. Painbringer reiterated his previous warning. Brainrender, dear, don't wander too near. I said shut up. She edged yet closer to the raging waters. She bent down to take a drink. Suddenly, the earth beneath her gave way, and she fell into the frigid river. Holding onto the rocks with her little hooves, she called out to her brother, Painbringer, buddy, don't let me die! Painbringer just laughed as he trotted over to where she struggled against the rapid current. Remember last week when you called me Blackhead? Please, please, I'll do anything! Hand me that branch and I can pull myself up! Painbringer reared to his full height. I will hand you that branch in exchange for your immortal soul. No! Then I 
leave you to die. Wait, wait! Okay, you can have my soul, just give me the branch! Painbringer nudged the branch with his nose and it toppled into the river. But just as his little sister grabbed it, a massive crocodile shot out of the water. She spent her last few moments being digested alive. As her soul ascended to heaven, two men with sunglasses, black suits, and briefcases met her at the gates. Get out of my way, she said. I want to get to heaven. One of the men pulled out a piece of folded paper. I have here a document that states that your soul is the property of one Painbringer the Cuddly Antelope. What? No! They tied her up like an uncooperative cheerleader and dragged her away from the gates of heaven. She spent the rest of her existence as an eternal slave to her brother, fetching beers and TV remotes and being kicked around by the other souls he had acquired. The end. The moral of this story is, never sell your soul to a guy named Painbringer. Well, wasn't that enlightening? That's it for the Maggot Show this week. Tune in next time or be forced to watch the video of Amidala getting it on with the Blair Witch.